Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakodash. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that rule well. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. And it was in this gospel, bro. I up to stand every how about you, how shy, wherever you may be. Man, 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 brothers. Um, time to really lock in, focus, you know, stay in the right mindset. You know, out of all the bullshit we go through in our lives as men in this faith, um, it's time to really put our personal differences aside and focus on what's at hand. As I believe, in my personal opinion, that um, how about you, how shy is getting ready to make moves. Um, it's appearing that way. It's appearing that he's uh, not slowing down at this point because in this truth, it's basically been a, a charade of up and downs, up and downs. The prophecies look like they're getting ready to come to pass, then they'll pull back. They remain stagnant, then they'll speed up, then pull back. It's like an emotional roller coaster, man. And, um, you know, oftentimes we've gotten hopes up in the past that what if this is it, this is it, this is it. But um, it's safe to say that um, it looks like they're going to go full steam ahead because the tensions have to be set up uh, uh, during or prior to the MOTB being passed. So therefore, when the Mark of the Beast is uh, actually officially instituted, this can roll right through. OK, so we know that the war in the Middle East between uh, you got Syria, you got Iran and you got America because you got like 38 countries. That's like an alleged war now. So you got America, then all of a sudden, I believe America attacked like a Syrian air base, which we know Iran and Syria's allies. Um, and basically, that's like, all right, fuck it, we finna go to war. So basically, it's been tensions between America and Russia. No, not America, America and Iran. Uh, um, as far as talking to go to war, if those small hats invade the Gaza Strip, which they, I think they did it already, if I'm not mistaken. Because, you know, they have talks and then they say we're going to do this and then they don't do it or they delay it or they do it. But regardless, man, um, I think that it's going to be ready to go steam ahead uh, to conventional war, boots on the ground, hot war, you know. And soon to be nuclear war once the mark of the beast is fully instituted. But it's time to lock in, man. Focus all the BS we got going on in our personal lives. These things are getting ready to really come to an end. Um, I know brothers uh, have been, you know, kind of frightened over there. The, the things they go through in life as far as not being able to make ends meet. You know, it seems like this curse, that curse, that curse, bills, taxes, child support. And before you know it, you got to pay car note and you have to get your car tagged up. Like, technically, my car is supposed to be tagged up for the end of the month. And I got to renew the insurance, but insurance has went up. So <laughs> it's like jake might not make it to the deadline but you know the lord gonna figure it out regardless but even then just like little aggravants like that is what caused jake to become complacent and just like it just it it it, it lowers your work morale i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna lie to you man you know because you know we, we're being pulled by things that don't even matter when we should be focusing on this right here okay because it's hard to try to balance the truth and try to sustain some type of livelihood you know, taking care of yourself, make sure you're fed, your bills are paid, which that's that's a task in itself. But um, I got some information. It says U.S. ambassador says Ukraine pilots training F-16s. And um, I brought this particular article out because I um, got a text message uh, here. And, um, you know, it's just straightforward. It's nothing personal, but it says Baba Kwa Tawa, which means good morning. Uh, the one you how about your mouth uh, this may be the reason why those ukrainian guys are on the base okay because i found out that the ukrainian men are here uh um uh, in Kent, well not in missouri but in kansas which is a state over same pro i mean the same vicinity though if you ask me um basically months ago we found out that it's been ukrainian soldiers over there and um it's, it's a base out there in um in a place called manhattan and um you have what they call Whiteman Air Force Base too. I believe that's between, I think that's like down in Wichita, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere in that area. But you have a couple of bases here um, in, in Kansas. Well, not Kansas City, but Kansas and then Missouri. Okay, because this is, you know, like I said, this is a heavy military state as well. But anyway, it says there may be a reason why those Ukrainian guys are on base. It says they are training, but their country is in shambles, right? Because we know that the Ukraine... I believe he had like half a fucking million that's dead already. 
because clearly they losing the war, unlike what they said on the news. Oh, they they had the run. No, the Russians is over there smoking the dudes, man. It says they won't be needed there, like you said in your lesson. They are trained to come at the people. It says I was taking someone to the cancer center in KC yesterday, and we passed seven huge buses full of military personnel headed to the airfield. It says on campus yesterday, the ROTC was training on getting wounded out of the war zone in cots. It says this thing is really about to jump off, okay? And that came in right before, right after this came. Right in fact, this came in. Brother has sent this U.S. strike Syria base used by Iran-linked groups, okay? See, and that's what America do, man. They, they, they like to throw a rock and hide their hand instead of just going straight through, going, going out salt. But they know that they don't have the necessarily manpower they don't have the support, really, okay? Because nobody really wants to fight for them because look how shitty they are to their people here. So they have to oftentimes throw a rock and hold their hands in order to, to try to make some type of impact. But regardless of it, it says U.S. ambassador says Ukraine pilots training F-16s. Um, and this is pretty much the going into the text message I was reading, okay? Which shows you that you have Ukrainian soldiers over here already, okay? And then, you know, you have a lot of sleeper cells here, too. So they're getting ready to go to war, man. This thing is getting ready to pop off. And through the spirit and power, how about Shimmy how shy? Uh, we got to stay locked in because it says the U.S. approved sending F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine from the Netherlands and Denmark in August once pilot training is completed. It says Ukrainian pilots are now training with the Arizona Air National Guard on F-16s. Ambassador Bridget Brink said on X, formerly Twitter. It says Ukraine launched a counteroffensive in the 21-old war last June and has retaken a number of villages in the eastern and southern theaters and at a much slower pace than a rapid advance to occupy northeastern Ukraine a year ago. It says the country is still subject to missile and drone attacks, striking infrastructure, including its power generating network, as well as other targets. It says the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has pledged to build the F-16 coalition in the Netherlands and Denmark's and have been among those taking lead in offering to provide fighters. Uh, Ukraine's air force is made up mostly of Soviet area era uh, uh, aircraft. And when you think of Soviet, you're thinking like the Russians, man, okay? Because that old USSR, okay, you gotta remember that Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union at a point in time, or Russia. Pretty much that's their, that's their people. But what happens is it's like China and Taiwan, Taiwan, you have the Americans that's in awe with China, but yet they're defending Taiwan, which Taiwan is nothing but a province of China, if you be technically honest. Just the same people, they're Moabites, man. You know, but what does Esau do? He comes in and he creates division among the nations, and he wonders why these other nations are going to shoot missiles on him, man. Okay, Esau Edom is completely, this dude is completely out of control, man, and he needs to be stopped, and he will be, but for us, we have to really lock in and stay focused, man, okay? Because this is the book of 2nd Edges 14. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 10. It says, For the world have lost its youth, and the times began to wax old. For the world is divided into 12 parts, and the 10th part of it is already gone. It's gone already. And a half of a 10th part. So when this was written, you got to understand, like, the earth is broken up into 12,000 parts, okay? From the creation. We know creation takes, a place, takes place in thousand-year increments. Okay, and from henceforth, we are literally like in the ladder of the 12th part. Okay, because uh, what the Lord said in the third day, I should raise thee up. If the Lord came on the scene 2,000 years ago, okay, uh, uh, and we're in the 12th part then, then Yahweh Shai came, what, roughly 500 years after Ezra. The, the, the book of Ezra was written, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like it was like 500 years. Okay, so. If Yahweh Shai came on the, on, on the scene at that time, then we're literally in the latter of the half of the 12th part with the end. Because when this was written, we were already halfway through it. You know, so, so how much more now? You see, and it says, and yet there remained it that which after is the half of the 10th part. But now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people and comfort such of them that as be in trouble and now renounce corruption, man. Okay, and this is what we're doing. We have to set our houses in order. So all the bullshit, all of the, the petty beefs and squirmishes brothers are having among the churches, man. You know, among our churches or whatever. Hey, man, y'all got to squash that shit, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? Brothers get in the right mindset. Stay focused. You know, play your position. Don't do too much. Don't do too little. Be the perfect balance. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to overstep your boundaries. 
in the camps or, you know, if you, and if you ain't doing enough, then step up, man. You know, step up and really lock in, man, you know. Yeah, we've made mistakes. You know, we've done things we wasn't happy about in life. We've made dumb decisions, you know, but either way it go, you're still in this thing. You have a chance, man. So focus on the now and, and from thenceforth, the can't worry about yesterday. Just be more wiser than what you were yesterday and focus, man, you know. Watch the prophecies, man, you know. Spend time with the brothers, you know. Check on brothers, pray for brothers, man, you know, because, hey, this thing is really getting ready to pop off. Contingent on this economy. Okay, this economy is really what's holding all the fucking puzzle pieces together. Once this bitch falls for good, finally, then... I, it's safe to say that they can go ahead and do what they have to do. But see, this is on your how about Shimmy how Shai's timeline. Okay, right now what you're seeing is the chess moves being put in place so this event can happen. So when the Mark of the Beast prophecy does commence, then therefore we can go forth or the Lord can go forth and make this thing blow out, man. Okay, because I mean, see Esau, one thing about Esau, he's going to try to drag his feet. You know, he knows he has the chipping thing. Things are already set up in place. He's just not going forth with it. Because ultimately is on the Lord's time. But the Most High is going to put that spirit on him to make it happen. Because now you got all these mass shootings in America. Okay, which can cause them to enact the NDAA Act 2 or the Patriot Act 2. Which declared every United States citizen a T-word. You know, they can do that. All right, and the BRICS go online with their currency. Like certain people saying November 1. Certain people saying uh, uh, January 1. I don't know. We have to wait and see. But either way it go. Once that happens and once hyperinflation commences here, the CBDCs, the digital currencies or the MOTB have it, they going to do it. I think me personally, and this is just my opinion, I think they just going to go for it for the chip. OK, because like a lot of um, a lot of people that came out, they mentioned, they said, well, look, the, the CBDCs is, is something that you put inside you. OK, which if you look at the micro C hip, that is a form of digital based currency. It is digital. OK, they probably just calling it CBDCs. You know, but we have to wait and see. We don't know, you know. Sources are coming out saying that it's going to go under your skin. So maybe that may be exactly what they're talking about. Because me personally, I don't see that them collapsing a the dollar, then coming out with this digital base system, and then waiting for that to die out, then some more shit happened, then they got to push this thing. No, man, they have the people right where they want them. Okay, because my thing is this. We've already had digital form of payments. You already got uh, 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 Fed now is up and running. For the most part, but you have, uh, you know, people had Bitcoin, you got Apple Pay, you got Smart Pay. People have already been dealing with digital payments. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, if the greenback dies, why do they have to now all of a sudden introduce a digital dollar if it's not the MOTB? Okay, just come on with it already, you know? Come on with it. Okay, fuck all that. If, if it's like a Fed now, some type of app or program that, that wirelessly transfer instantly, fuck all that, man. Just come with your... CBDCs, if that's the MOTB, if that's the MOTB. Like I said, you have certain sources that's saying that it goes under your skin. I don't know. We have to wait and see because you got other sources saying, oh, that's not the case. It's going to be just a digital based currency, X, Y, and Z. They're going to deposit these in your bank account. You're going to have digital tokens, but meaning that you're not going to have access to cash, but it's still all around the same system. Okay, so now I think the big thing is how can we get people microchipped? How can we get people to, to revolt against these things or, 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 or scare them enough to the point that they're going to accept this thing? This is why I say that, man, it's, it's, it's going to be done by force, man. OK, especially with this foreign military in America. They're literally this place is literally infested with, 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 with strangers now, man. OK, I mean, it's to the point millions of migrants may be over here already, you know, easily. OK, and people are starting to wake up to that. And you think these people ain't going to force that by gunpoint? Hell yeah, they are. They already don't like you Americans, man. You know, but it says. Uh, it says and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy into thee and haste thee to flee from these times, man. And this is why we have to get our houses in order. It says for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen should be done thereafter okay and what's some of those evils okay the wars the people the, the, the policies is being passed the mindsets of the people um the, the motb okay the fucking momoality you know all this bullshit that they pushing down our throat it, it shows you it's more evils man 
Okay, people are literally walking around here like they lost their damn mind. People are out of order, man. Okay, they're on edge. Everybody's aggressive. Everybody's mad at each other. You know, but it says here, for look how much the world should be weaker through age. And so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Okay, it says, for the time is fled. It says, for the time fled far away and leasing is hard at hand. For now hasten the vision to come, which thou hast seen. Okay, and when you go into, when the angel told him to fast and so he can reveal more to him and that, there you go. He gave him more revelation. Second that is 15, second that is 16, which is we're literally living in these chapters right now. All right. Uh, Romans 13, and I'm going to start at verses 11. It says, and that knowing the time that it is now high time to wake up out of sleep, man. Okay, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Okay, you got Jake in this thing that's sitting up here calling on fake names, man, wicked names. And yet here all this prophecy is coming to pass. But you guarantee a whole lesson is going to be done on GMS. Which shows you that these men have not the spirit. Okay, because here your salvation is on the line. But you want to talk about men. That ain't thinking about you. That don't even give a shit about you. Like, I ain't gonna waste my time, man. You know, but this is to show you the, 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 the stupidity of Jake, man. Okay, Jake don't want to get out of here. They don't see it. They're blinded. You know, and that's a that that's literally like a you're walking backwards at this point. Okay, that's literally a shipwreck waiting waiting to happen. Especially interjecting things that don't belong in the scriptures, like Sakari said. Hey, he said straightforward, man. That's a, a that's a car crash waiting to happen. And you scoffers, you're going to crash real soon. All right. It says here, the night is far spent and the day is at hand. So let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armors of light. But let us walk honestly as in the day and not riding in drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Okay. So all the bullshit need to stop. But it says, but put on ye on the Lord, you have shot and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, man. Okay, so let's lock in, focus. Hey, man, the Lord is getting ready to speed things up. Only thing we're really waiting on now is the MOTB. That's really holding the glue together. Once that goes, which that can come out any minute, it could take it's just one event that can make that uh, a, a reality. You know what I'm saying? And I think, and me personally, I think the chip will be here next year. That's just my opinion. But hey, <laughs> if I'm right, then hey, like hey. There you go. That's the spirit of the Lord, man. So with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom.